be said, welcome to the Horseman Podcast, an open form conversation about our passions, interesting topics with a free flowing structure. Today, we're excited to bring you episode two of season two. We are your host. I'm Josh. And I'm Greg. And we are the guys behind the mic. Yes, we are. <laughs> How's it going, Josh? It's going pretty well, man. You know, just uh, getting done with a bunch of stuff and... Are you hammering down your Christmas shopping right now? <laughs> it is I the could, holidays. I, I wish I could say I'm nailing down my, my, my Christmas shopping, but I'm really I'm, – I'm one of those the week before Christmas guys. Week before Christmas? Yeah, I really am. Like, it You're sucks. not ordering stuff online, are you? No. Oh, so you're going into the yeah, store yeah, and getting yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm I, – like, you know, ordering online is like – you know, it's fun and stuff like that. But honestly, I really like going to the store and, and finding stuff, you know. Um <laughs> You good over there? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. doing good. <laughs> so what happened on our side was as soon as I said something, I don't know exactly what I said. Greg just seemed to choke on his cider a little bit. So uh, that's 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 what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked over and he's like duffel. I'm, cho- I'm choking on some hard cider right yeah. now. Uh, um, and this is actually pretty good, which is bringing us to our uh, main topic this week. Um, is part one of our holiday season. Yeah, part one of the holiday season. You know, it's getting into kind of thick of things. You know, you get to that, you know, you get to Halloween, you're like, oh, Halloween's great, yada, yada. Then you have three weeks to Thanksgiving. For whatever reason, though, the three weeks between Halloween and Thanksgiving seem to go like that real quick. Real quick. And you just go, wait a second, it's, it's, it's the end of November. Thanksgiving's, you know, is, you know, it's, it's, tomorrow yeah it's tomorrow like that's pretty big so that's the reason that's actually one of the reasons why we decided to bring you guys this on a wednesday instead of a thursday we guys want you to go out and and have a good thanksgiving with your family be grateful for everything yeah so uh you know we're trying to be a little respectful everyone and and give everyone you know a day before because we don't want this to go you know live be like you know and you walk away from you know your family stuff like that because also we have stuff that you know, we want to do in the holidays and spend times with the with the ones we love. Yeah, I make a really smacking macaroni and cheese recipe. I'm not going to give out the formula, but if you see me and you're like, I want that mac and cheese. Really? You're making me mac and cheese recipe? Oh, yeah, dude. Really? Hands down. You want to bet? Bet. All right. Because I, I, think, I think my mac and cheese tops yours. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> do you, is it homemade? Yeah. It, it better not be like some it's craft the, bullshit. It's not the craft <laughs> mat box. No, it's not. <laughs> God, no, it's not that. It's it's it is homemade. It's kind of off like my mom's recipe. But that's mom's bit. recipe. That hang ain't on, your recipe. Hang on. That hang on. It's 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 a there's a little there's items and small bits I've taken, but I've made it kind of my own. And it's you know it slapped. You know why? Because I took it to I took it to my uh, my company's holiday party last year, and it killed. It, it, it literally got demolished. I took nothing home. We're like, how the hell do you make this? And I'm like, easy. It's Love. three steps. It's mac and cheese and heat. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Mine takes more than three steps. Yeah, mm. that's way too much work. It okay, ain't that is yours, much work. Is yours, is, okay, is your, the ultimate test is, is yours crunchy on top? It is. Oh, there you go. Okay, see, that, that's good. If your mac and cheese is crunchy on top, then it's good. But, you know... I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. There is actually something about the craft mac and cheese that kind of slaps a little bit. No, dude, get out of here. Walk out. <laughs> no, no. I, I'm I, I'm is, leaving the podcast. Is, I'm no longer part of the podcast. This guy, <laughs> if you like mac and cheese, I'm okay with like normal mac and cheese, fine. But craft, dude, cheese ain't supposed to be powder. <laughs> That's why there is a method to use that actually makes it taste a little better. And actually, you can a little it. bit better. Yeah, a, little bit. a little bit. Yeah, you add real cheese. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so while while we're on the while we're on the realm of the Thanksgiving food. The food. Name your top three like favorite Thanksgiving stuffing right right off the bat. Really? Stuffing is stuffing's always so good Plus because bread, so yeah. yeah, you don't get stuffing <laughs> in normal meals throughout the year. No, you don't. You, you don't be like be kicking it like on your birthday, right? And then someone brings out a plate of stuffing. You well, know, you know my dad's birthday is on Thanksgiving. Well, well, something. that makes sense. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
but no. normally you don't like get yeah. stuffing you know it's like oh yeah dude it's you know it's labor day you know what i'm going to make some stuffing yeah. like no one does that yeah no I, you know so stuffing is up there cranberries i know it's simple you know there's cranberry juice but eating the actual cranberries like from the cranberry sauce, sauce oh, you know like that's oh, so good that that's that yeah. that's up there yeah for me. The, Even, you don't have to do anything to it no. it just comes out and i'm like yep this is delicious i don't know what it is about cranberry sauce it's so daggum good mm-hmm. it's really good oh, so what's number three and then number three we have a lot of different options here right yeah i think it depends on how they do the turkey the last couple of years i've been lucky to have a turkey on the traeger yeah and it's the way to go. See, I okay. So, like my Thanksgiving thing is like we we would go to like this our friend's house and you know there'd be I think it was like what was it there was like almost fifty of us I think in this Whoa. house. Like no, there was a lot of people who came. So fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot we'll of stick people. Stick with that number. Yeah, and you know for a long it was like turkey was like the one thing right. Turkey yeah. was like the big thing. I've kind of moved from the turkey. I'm much more of a chicken guy on Thanksgiving. Like I like turkey, but not as much as I, I not as much the as I do. I respect the turkey, and I like a few slices. But if I'm completely being completely honest, if I were like to host a, a Thanksgiving here, I probably would make a chicken over a turkey. That's fair. Yeah, because I, I think it's a little bit easier, but also like you can add, you can do a whole lot more to chicken than you can do to turkey. Yeah, I feel like turkey. It's just like these are years of yeah. practicing yeah you know it's just like you are not going like every weekend and it's just like you know what fuck it i'm going by a turkey and make a turkey this week yeah it, it, i feel like a turkey is just like one of those like you do it right or you don't yeah you know and this last thanksgiving i was at a place and i i didn't want to be rude but they kind of botched the turkey <laughs> And when you're in that deep, they, all the sides were great, you know. My smacking macaroni and cheese was there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> shameless plug, shameless plug. Shameless plug, right? <laughs> um, but he kind of botched the turkey. And I didn't want to say anything, you know. Everything you else was... Rude. I didn't want to be rude. Um, and, and just like, I'm like, you know, just chowing down. It's just like I had to mix, you know, the mashed potatoes, the gravy... So I could have a turkey slice because it was just so dry. Oh, uh, it was oh. it was it was that it was that type of. Um, no, that's a bad turkey. It was it was bad. It was it was like that like oh too dry. And then like the outside was a little bit waxy. Yeah. And I was like ah oh, this is this is not good. It kind of tasted like rubber. Yeah. But, and it's just like you're just dousing it with all these different Thanksgiving sauces, you know, to make it go down. <laughs> to make it go down. <laughs> You like you bite it. And you're like you're like, oh, desert, desert, desert. <laughs> you know, but like it's just like I think, it's like let's grab you know the wine or the cider and. I think my top three's got to be cranberry, cranberry, cranberry sauce up there, taters and gravy, taters and gravy, gravy smash taters and gravy. Yeah. And then I think the last one probably. Hmm. I don't know. I'd kind of have to go with the stuffing route too stuffing yeah, yeah man i'm telling you you don't get that now, if you're, like, okay so like the the stuffing that you've had right is yeah. it like is it the ones that comes in the bag or is it like the homemade stuff i really don't know man okay yeah like i know i've had both okay but i can't distinguish the both yeah so what my mom used to do is like is starting on like monday would be would be like the kind of like the preparing of the stuff like that's when you get the turkey mm-hmm. and all that stuff but one thing that she started doing on tuesday or on monday was she take a whole bunch of like sourdough bread, okay, or any type of bread really, and chop it up into these small pieces and put them out on baking trays and literally lay them around the kitchen and they would she would dry them out, and that's what we would use for stuffing. Oh, oh my god! Wow. When she started doing that, the stuffing level went from like it it went from like oh mediocre da 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 da, da to holy crap this stuffing's really good because it was actual like bread it wasn't like the dried out croutons you get oh yeah in the, in the bags at the store which go stale in like six months oh yeah you know so the, there is like there is a really really nice like homemade factor that comes with the whole thanksgiving stuff but honestly i think really one of the more one of the cool thanksgivings i had was when i first moved to washington state this was back in 2018 okay i was living in a house in auburn 
All right. and didn't have any plans. Mm-hmm. And there was, do you know, when was the last time you were, like, are you familiar with Auburn a little yeah. bit? Okay. Athens Pizza? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, so they they were served Thanksgiving every day to the community, and that's that's where I went for Thanksgiving. Oh, my cool. First Thanksgiving in Washington. And you know what, honestly, it was really nice. You know, you walk in, and everyone's just really, really freaking sweet and really freaking nice, because they're under the impression that the reason that you're there is you probably don't have any. And they basically treated you like family. It was really cool. Like, the owners were coming. I was like, how is everything? How's your Thanksgiving going? Like, is there anything we can get you? Like, really super friendly. And I'm not going to say that was the best Thanksgiving, but that was one of the more memorable Thanksgivings. Yeah. um, Because being in a state all by yourself, not having any – not really having friends or plans, that was really cool to be able to be a part of Yeah, and I also think, you know, there is something that you did say in there that needs to be said is – it's nice to have that sense of community. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's just like as much as, you know, sometimes, you know, we get around our family and things can get heated. There's something about enjoying a meal with a stranger when you know you're both there for the same reason. Yeah. You know, and you're, you're probably thinking or maybe this popped into your mind. Um, it's just like, what are you talking about? We eat at restaurants all the time, you know, blah, 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 blah. They're yeah. strangers. But, like, there's different occasions they're celebrating. Yeah. But here is just, like, I don't know where to go, but I'm thankful, and I'm glad to see all these people here. You know, it's, like, a very community thing. Yeah. And I think, you know, um, I know there's, like, a lot of backlash, you know, against this holiday within recent years, but I think we can't discount, like, not necessarily throw that away, but, like, let's dive into the feelings of it. It's just, like, I really enjoy because this is – one of the only holidays where I actually feel like you can, like, set your, like, kind of shit aside, you know, for, like, a quick second and actually be thankful. Yeah. You know, because I think, like, we are so blessed and so lucky to have something like that, you yeah. know, um, where it's just, like, we had put it on ourselves, you know, to take a day and just, like, throw everything aside where it's just, like, we're just going to sit down and be extremely thankful, thankful for, what we have, yeah. for what we have and i kind of like that aspect of it you know and i think also as I, this is more i don't mm-hmm. guess for me the older i've gotten mm-hmm. the more and more i wish i had more of those thanksgiving memories but also when i was younger i didn't really cherish them all that great yeah because i didn't realize i didn't realize how quickly those moments would fade like if i'm thinking back on it it was four years ago Back in 2017, I had my last Thanksgiving dinner with my family. Like, that's the last time I would I, – I, I think that was probably the, one of the last times I had a meal with mm-hmm. my family was Thanksgiving a couple, uh, about four years ago. And I didn't know it at the time, so I didn't cherish it as much. But looking back on it, I think I cherished that a little bit better. To be completely honest with you, I'd have to do a little bit more digging into actually what happened that Thanksgiving day because there are there are so many memories around the day. But like you were saying – it is really nice once a year you can gather around a table wherever you are and you can be like I am thankful for X Y and Z whatever those may be and I think and I think each person is like different but mm-hmm. I think that one thing is the community aspect which you pointed out yeah and there is you know when when I did go to the to the Athens pizza to the pizza to do the Thanksgiving there was a lot of conversations with strangers and there was it was like you said, it would be, everyone's there for a reason. I don't have anywhere else to go. But I, need, I, I needed that community aspect of, uh, of something. And that's kind of the big reason why I like this holiday season, like the last three months of the year, because it, it does seem... I feel like this is like the most personal time of the year. Yeah. Where it's just like, even though everybody's in the hustle and bustle, I feel like this is the season also is where too where it's just like you don't have time to put up your facade yeah you know i feel like everybody's street colors kind of show here at the end of the year you know what has been happening you know everything's like winding down everybody's like kind of reflecting and it's just like oh man i can't put on that you know fake face anymore yeah. like i don't i don't really have time to plan or scheme that i don't know why we do that for the rest of the year Maybe we need another, like, thankful, like, halfway through, you know, to keep us humble throughout the whole time. Um, But either way, it's just, like, I do like that, where it's just, like, yeah, I'm going to talk about, you know, this, and I'm not going, like, throw a facade. I do kind of like that, you know. I do like that kind of quick 
you know, nice, calm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, – and, you know, like, oh, the reflection, like, there's a lot of – you know, I've seen a lot of different um, viewpoints on the holiday season. Um, mm-hmm. You know, people are just – there's there's a lot of people who really look forward to these moments because it's a part of who they are. And then there's also a lot of people who – diss on the holidays on the on this ho- on the holiday on the holidays coming up because it's there is an element of truth with it there's a there is a lot of fakeness uh, but honestly i've seen a lot i see a lot of genuinely happy people around this time of year yeah i see both sides of it um and i, I understand both the um because i used to uh, work at um you know uh the siren the starbucks mm-hmm. right and you saw uh, both types of people um really come through but the biggest thing i you what i think really connected both of those is just the human connection that everybody needs and like we can't discount it's just like treating one person one way is going to work for everybody yeah it's just like i think you know during this time of year it's just like let's treat them you know how they want to be treated and i think that's what's so great about this season where it's just like you can actually take time to step back and it's just like you know what, I'm actually going to treat you the way that you want to be treated, you know, even though we may disagree here and there, we may get in a scuffle, I may be frustrated, but I think it's good. Yeah. Because you don't have that too often. Yeah. Yeah, it's, there, there, I think the Thanksgiving holiday, it's, it's a, it is, it is a strange holiday if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Because, like, Set aside the whole like the amazing part of Thanksgiving, right? Set that set that aside. What do you okay. have? You have, you have a bunch of people get together. <laughs> this is the simplified version of Thanksgiving. You have a bunch of people gather on the table and stuff their faces for the entire day, mm-hmm. and it's really weird. Like that, like people look forward to that, but also it's like no, 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 no. no. You, you got to look past that. There, there, there's there's another reason behind it, and yeah, you know, I I understand. You know, it's really it is a very American holiday. Yeah, it is an extremely American holiday. But you know what? What's grateful is there are a lot of people around the world who know about the holiday and are like, "That's pretty cool." You guys set aside one day to be thankful. Like I, I what was it? Uh, when I was back in high school doing robotics, mm-hmm. you know, you meet a lot of people from competitions. Like so the World Championship was held in St. Louis, and you meet teams from all over the world. And having conversations with people from countries over the world. You know, the, one of the big things that popped up was, yeah, it, it was past, but it was like you have like a day that you set aside to be completely thankful for things. And it's like, yeah, we do. It's pretty cool. And when you look back on it, it's like one day, it's like, yes, because it's the one day you – like even you can – yes, you can be thankful every single day of the entire year. But it's really cool. There's there's, uh, there's only one there's collective th- day where you know collective. every yeah. where everybody's actually yeah. taking a side to be – uh, thankful and even though you know like there's been like a couple bits of controversy you know throughout the years around the holiday this or that and it's just like honestly it's just like we should probably just throw that out and just like let's just take it to what it should be now is that like actually sitting down and being like thankful you mm-hmm. know um, and expressing those feelings you know and it's a day where I feel like everybody stops yeah you know like sober stop not like january 2nd where it's just like <laughs> it's just like oh damn i'm hung over from you know the whole new year still oh, right. oh, everything's grog you know <laughs> um but this is the time you know where it's just like everybody stops you know and it's just like even though like there's a couple of hustle and bustle it's just like it is, i feel like thanksgiving is also one of the slowest days of the year yeah um for some, for some like odd reason, I always feel like, God, this day is taking forever. Yes, it does. Oh my God! I look out, I'm like, it's not even dark yet. No, it's only two o'clock. But I feel like the because the day starts so early, you get up at seven o'clock to like prepare for the day, right? Well, even then, like sometimes you're you're up at ten and it's just like lunch is at like two o'clock, but it's just like those four hours yeah. just seem like. Oh man, like I almost like I'm feeling like every single nanosecond <laughs> that's going yeah. on right now, like what's going on here? But I I do appreciate that um, because it's just like I feel like that's also a day where you can look around you, you know, a really good day to reflect. Yeah, you know, like whether you're with people or whether you're not with people, I think it just brings the best out of us. Yeah, it's 
if you had to look back on let's say past 10 years or so mm -hmm. what would be like one thanksgiving that kind of stood out to you in a way i would say this last uh thanksgiving usually i have thanksgiving you know with my family um we're very traditional in that way but this last one i did it at a friend's place and um like i drove like an hour to get there um and i made my smack in macaroni and cheese and it was fun like it was good to spend thanksgiving with someone else honestly yeah. um I think you also learn a lot, you know. Um, I think this is a day where you also learn a lot about other people as well, too, when you're sitting at someone else's table. Yeah. Where And it was really nice to sit, you know, with a different community and see how they celebrated, you know. It's just like we had turkey, you know. We had, like, a bunch of good cranberry sauce stuffing mm -hmm. and all that. And I saw, like, the kindness of the host because he was just trying – this is a good story um, about him is – he he was so kind hearted. He was just trying to um, he was trying to sell and get rid of his bus because he used to have a decked out build out bus, yeah. and um, he was trying to sell it. And someone had put in an offer, and he saw them, and he was like, "Oh man, these guys look like they haven't eaten. They are looking to buy, you know, like they're like nomadic people." Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Oh man, they're probably going to go through a drive through, you know, like for." dinner and so he stopped what he was doing and um uh, he's like wait here he went inside dressed a whole you know two plates of food for them like stuffed oh, that's it. awesome you know just stuffed it you know a bunch of mashed potatoes turkey yeah. stuffing mac and cheese like he went all out and, and brought him these two plates of uh, food and he's like happy thanksgiving you guys you yeah. know like this is oh that's freaking awesome yeah you know um and i i just always remember just like that said so much about his character um because he was always a nice guy but him taking that extra step to say hey like i know like you got you guys are just here to purchase this but i'm actually here to give you something extra you mm -hmm. know I'm, because i'm just like thankful for that you're actually alive you're here you're trying you're living your dreams you know yep. it's like it's like i'm thankful that you guys are doing that even though we may not interact this may be the only interaction we have i'm going to give you some kindness to go and i'm like w hoping and wishing the best for all those guys you know yeah. right now not knowing and I, I just always that made a huge impression on me i was like okay and I'm like, and I'm like, all right. Now I, um, I, I get the general gist of you know, just being kind, it's just to be kind, not asking anything in yeah. return. I think a lot of the, I mean, I've, there's a lot of Thanksgivings like in my past that kind of um, uh, flow together, you know, because mm -hmm. you know I was telling you about like the 50 party Thanksgiving, oh, yeah. you know, the 50 person Thanksgiving one, like, you know, that that's the one that kind of stands out because that's the one that I grew up with. And I remember there was a couple of years where it would bounce between their house and then it was our house. You know, we would have like a smaller group over. But I think the past the past several Thanksgivings I had with my family, it's been, actually been at our house. Um, and what's really cool is we started a tradition. We had a family that came over um, and they had two kids who were about the same age as me and my younger brother. And we would go out and we would just, like, for hours, just playing outside. Because we family, my family had, like, 10 acres of land and we were big forest and everything like that. And, my God, we, like, those Thanksgiving days, I don't know what it is. I always wanted to be outside on Thanksgiving. I oh, yeah. hated being inside on Thanksgiving. Loved being outside. Especially at that big house. It's because they had, like, a bonfire. And every year we would, we would go out. Oh, that's we would, cool. We would end Thanksgiving with a massive bonfire, right? That was so freaking cool. I mean, I don't... I get like the whole bonfires. I love bonfires. Like bonfires are oh, amazing, yeah. and bonfires on Thanksgiving are especially pretty cool. And yeah, a lot of the Thanksgivings for me, they kind of like they they waft in because I think I think the one issue I had with it was it was it was the same every single year. There wasn't something different that stood out. It was only until I moved to Washington, I think my my holidays kind of improvised a little bit because each year I spent a different holiday in a different place. Um, you know, so for Thanksgiving uh, 2018, I spent it at Athens. 
uh, I want to say 2019, um, oh, uh, 2019 and 2020, both of those days, both of those were, um, I was working those days. Because I, I don't know, it was, it was like, I guess it must have been just a holiday pay that kind of um, put an end, but it was, it was more so like, I really don't want to be alone. So I'm just going to go to work, and I'm going to work 16 hours, and I'm going to be around my coworkers. Yeah, and I've worked Thanksgiving as well, too. And I think there is something to say about those people that do that, because I did work for Starbucks, and, and I think, you know, some like that, that those are actually some of the busier days, believe it or not, which is yeah, crazy. That's weird. Um, you know, same like with the Christmas holiday. Um, but I think, you know, like what you're saying when you went to Athens Pizza, you know, I it's the exact same thing where it's just like they just feel a sense of community, yeah. you know, and, um, you know, it's just like, you know, I'm just like, hey, like, I, this is where I feel connected to. And, you know, what's what was really cool about Starbucks, you know, their whole, you know, mission statement is like we're connecting the community with mm -hmm. one cup of coffee at a time. Yeah, that's, that's a good statement right it, there. Which is such a great statement, you know. Starbucks, sponsor this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Starbucks, sponsor this, this, this podcast. <laughs> Starbucks sends us a letter. Cease and desist. This. We will not. <laughs> we will not. Denied. Denied. <laughs> but, I and I think, you know, that is very important. Um, it's just like whether you're wherever you're working, even if it's on that day, even though it may be like, oh, it's just like holiday pay, but also as well too, you're like kind of attracted to that place because you are thankful for it in some yeah. way, even like the shittiest jobs I've had, like in my entire life. And I was working there even during Thanksgiving, not Starbucks. Okay, Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> um, called up the manager, <laughs> um, <laughs> It, it's um I, I i i was still grateful you know i was thankful you know mm -hmm. and the the during that time is just like yeah it's like um it's just like not in this place like no rather be but it's just like i'm glad that i get to work with these people i'm glad that i have a job you know it's just like there's so much happiness and sadness and unrest in the world but for some reason today in this moment it's just like even though i'm maybe complex conflicted you know with my own life i'm grateful that i do have a life and i'm able to do the things that i'm able to do and i know it won't be the same like this forever this is all very temporary i'm i'm just glad to be here yeah yeah i think that you mentioned that the, the athens pizza does stand out to me i mean mm -hmm. that was my first thanksgiving in washington state but it was it was kind of like a big impactful one because I think that's the I think that's the only Thanksgiving that I've had where it was like it really did feel like a sense of community because like the one in twenty nineteen I spent it at work and like the the property management put food up in the in the fridge and stuff like that for us but like it was like eh you know whatever you just kind of I think like it really did hit me because I went on the I got off work at like I think it was that specific day was I guess it was Thursday six a.m. I got off at six a.m. So I got on the bus at like six thirty, six forty five with people like, Oh yeah, I'm going over to my aunt and uncle's house and I'm like, and I'm going home and I'm gonna be right back here at you know, eleven at like ten o'clock and I'm just like, eh, you know, it is what it is, but it was it was pretty cool. Um I think my roommate saved me a plate of food or something like that. It was it was pretty good. It I mean it was but I think the twenty twenty I, I also I think I was also working that day too. Um so this year it's it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be interesting. Um but yeah, the Athens pizza does stand out. Again, it was my first Thanksgiving in the state, but it was also really interesting because I ha I had to force myself to get out of the house because that day I didn't want I didn't want to get out of the house. I wanted to stay home and play video games. But you know, after like two three hours of doing that, I was like, this I gotta is go not, somewhere. I was like, this is not working out. I was like, I, if I'm not gonna get if I don't get out of the house, I'm gonna have like some kind of like depression episode or something like that. So it was. More so for my own sanity to get out of the house in the community aspect. Once I got there, it was like, oh, this is this this was a good decision to make, and I don't know. It's Thanksgiving's one of those. I guess it's just a general the holiday season. I don't know what it. I guess it's because I've never been alone in the holiday season before I moved to Washington, but now it's like I don't ever want to. I had those three, you know, pretty. I, I'm not gonna say they're dark holidays. Uh, I, but I'd say like what's really nice is just like now you're kind of like these are action holidays yeah. you know like they're not as set back as everybody thinks they are yeah. where it's just like 
it's like no there's a bunch of movement on those days yeah even though it's just like i may be in one location a lot is happening and you know what i think that's pretty nice yeah you know and with that being said Thank you for listening to this week's episode. You know, yeah. I hope uh, tomorrow that all of you guys have a very wonderful and beautiful Thanksgiving. Spend it with the people you love. Spend it with yourself, even if it that means just you being with you. Like, take a second to be grateful. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just like if we don't laugh, we'll cry. You know, and let's just take that time. You know, to like realize. You know whatever we may be going through right now is just like the alternative could always be so much worse and it's a good day to be thankful for yeah. what has um you know brought us all here in this moment and what keeps pushing us to the next yeah um if you guys want to go ahead and uh comment down below what you guys are thankful for uh this holiday season um why don't we We're, go ahead and take one. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Um, I'm actually really thankful for, um, like, just the opportunity to create media. It, it was, it was like this uh, last, um, year where it's just like I realized what I wanted to do with my media and it's just to share and broadcast that with everybody. Um, but in the way of just like I actually want to educate and empower you guys, and mm -hmm. and it's just like I'm really thankful for all of you guys who tune in, who watch it, who know it's me, who's not me. Um, I'm just, like, really grateful that I have, you know, a job where it's just, like, I can draw squiggly lines and you guys are going to respond <laughs> to it um, uh, really well. And, you know, it's just, like, I'm thankful for all the people along the way, you know, you know, like, friends, enemies, all of that, you know. It's just, like, it, 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 like it's hard, you know. Yeah. Like, like, life is hard and you don't realize – who's very monumental who isn't you know and it like it, it all like builds who you are right now in this moment you know i'm also thankful for you know like a lot of other things as well too you know but the biggest thing is just like i'm i'm grateful for all of us because without us there is no opportunity for us to grow create you know all of that you know despite the situation it's just like we make each other better all the time whether it's for better or worse right mm. but i think that's what is amazing is that we all have the opportunity to do that and to be able to spend that with you guys is absolutely incredible and i would never trade it for anything else in the world yeah i think i think one thing i, I guess the one thing that i'm grateful for this year is um um i have a i have a washington family you know, I have people that I can call, you know, home here, mm -hmm. um, which is really nice. And um, it's it's really cool. You know, you go from your, um, you know, your blood family and then you, you move somewhere and you create a new family. Right. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool is, you know, the people that, you know, I consider my Washington family have been there since day one. And they they kind of make the holidays a little worthwhile getting together because it's it's. When I'm around them, you know, it's home. You know, it feels like home, and, and I'm grateful for that because I'm not going to say Washington never felt like home, but I've moved six times in the last three years or something like that. Way too much, and man. And <laughs> it's really like a nomadic lifestyle. You really can't get used to, like, one specific place. So, um, you know, to my Washington family, I'm forever thankful that they've made this home, um, and I am – He's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also, again, I'm also extremely I, thankful. A lot of other people yeah, as well, too. I'm also yep. extremely thankful for the podcast. This is a really, this is a extremely cool opportunity to just, you know, pop on and, and, and share your heart with the world. So um, we want to thank you guys so much for listening. Um, this episode will come out uh, next Tuesday. We hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Thanksgiving. Yes. And we will see you guys next time. Peace yes. out. Take care.